Hi, my name is Matthew Nichols, and I teach percussion at Florida Atlantic University. What you just heard was the Florida All-State Middle School Snare Drum Etude for 2024-2025. I hope you enjoyed my performance, and before you go, I want to give you a couple things to look out for that I know that I had to work through in order to make my preparation as smooth as possible for my performance, and hopefully these things will also help you as you continue to prepare for your All-State audition. The first thing is to identify the sticks and the drum and your setup when you practice. So number one, I love using the Vic Firth Symphonic Collection Matt Howard sticks. These sticks have a nice weight to them, and they also respond really well on the drum, but you can choose any drumstick that you feel comfortable using to give you all the different definition and articulation and balance that you're needing in a piece like this. The second thing is the drum. I'm looking for a snare drum that has snares on it that are cables as opposed to maybe a drum set snare drum that has the snappy wires, something that allows me to use the full dynamic range without feeling like it's overly active and it's not as responsive as I'd like it to be. I'm also choosing a 14 by a five and a half inch deep drum, something a little bit more shallow so that it responds a little bit sooner. The next thing I'm doing is I want to make sure that I identify all the dynamics that I need in this piece of music. So this piece ranges from as loud as forte to as soft as piano. So I've even gone through the steps of marking because I like to move from the edge of the drum to the center of the drum with different zones. I've marked those locations as a practicing tool to make sure that I always consistently play through each dynamic at the correct location on my drum. Now I will also use my stick height as well as the velocity of the stroke to help change the dynamic, but working all three of those things at once will help your dynamic contrast be the best it can be for your performance. The next thing that we talk about that could definitely help your performance is making sure you identify how to get in and out of rolls. So by now you should be doing a nice concert buzz roll using the right amount of pressure uh, on the stick when you go to play. But be careful that you're not accenting unintentionally when going into those concert roles. We want to make sure that our pressure is great, but that we're able to transition in and out of the roll smoothly without any extra kick. We don't want it to go bzzz, da 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 We want it to be bzzz, da 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 It's just a sustained sound that we're looking for, not necessarily an accented sustain. And then the last thing that we'll talk about is making sure that your timing when you play your 16th notes, as well as some of the syncopated rhythms, we want to make sure that we are taking care of our 16th note placement. So if you're not already practicing with a metronome, I highly recommend you do that, as well as making sure that when you're practicing with a metronome, you're utilizing its subdivisions so that you can hear exactly where each of those four sixteenth notes should be within a beat, but then also maybe changing it so that it doesn't just play sixteenth notes, but maybe it plays eighth notes, quarter notes, or even challenging yourself to playing just half notes on your metronome. That way we can find out if we push when we play through certain rhythms or if we slow down when we have to play through certain rhythms. I know when it gets a little complicated in the middle uh, and we're having to roll soft and play 16th note patterns as well as then jump to the forte dynamic, I have a tendency to push ahead because as I get louder, I feel excited. We want to make sure we're not doing anything like that and we're just keeping it as level as possible. So I hope that this has been helpful for you today and I wish you all the best as you continue to prepare for your Allstate audition.